What's up guys, Phil Vallejo here, and I am super excited about this project or vlog that I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make it more of a vlog because, you know, I don't have time to kind of standardize this uh, budget bill, so hopefully you guys can kind of see this journey as the progression of this rifle grows. But anyways, um, this is uh, my budget. The question I get all, asked a lot, especially where I'm at, is hey, Phil, I wanna get into long range shooting, but I don't know where to start. I've got a budget. Okay, so this is essentially my ideal setup for a budget, um, you know, that you're gonna get the, the best bang for your buck. So what this is, is the Tika CTR T3X uh, in 6.5 Creedmoor with a 20 inch barrel and a threaded muzzle. Um, I just literally bought this uh, at the, down, the, down the street at the gun store um, for $1,000. And, um, you know, I've got a $100 pair of bipods or kicks on it, which is the Harris bipods, okay? And the scope on it is the Night Force SHV 4 to 14 first focal plane. And it, honestly, Kalen had it laying around uh, and I wanted to get this build as immediately as possible. So I didn't want to go buy a scope uh, off that. But honestly, this is probably the scope that I buy in terms of budget. I think, uh, I think I just looked it up and it was just a little over a grand. Um, and then $100. So right now, as you're looking at this setup, it's just right under $2,500. And why this? So the, the question now is why the Tika? The reason why I got the Tika is out of the box. It's got a lot of great reviews. You know, when you go on the forums and stuff like that. You know, out of the box. I mean, I think this gun's shooting uh, a .2 to .5 consistently. Um, you know, uh, Frank Galley out of Sniper Side is a really big fan of the Tika line. Um, and you know he's a he's a he's a good person to um, ask for knowledge. So you know I look up to him uh, in terms of you know what's out there. And uh, not only that, it, you know it's great out of the box. But for the Tika, there's a lot of upgrade options. Um, so I've got a KRG X-ray coming for this thing. Uh, KRG uh, just launched a new KRG uh, generation uh, X-ray model. So I'm excited to get this in there. Um, because for those that know me, I run the KRG Whiskey 3 on all my Remington 700 uh, platforms. Um, but another good turning point, not only KRG, let's say your stock guy. I know Manners. Manners is a great, uh, great stock company. I've got a lot of their stocks, uh, and I know they're starting to make um, actions for, I think, MDT as well as, um, you know, other uh, chassis manufacturers out there. But uh, another thing is this bolt. I mean, it's just super smooth, out of the box. Um, so I'm super excited to get my hands on this and kind of uh, walk you guys through the progression of how I'd outfit this thing as I obviously started getting money, you know, or for you guys. So, um, you know, if you guys are looking to get into long range, again, this is about a $2,500 uh, setup, and you know, this is obviously going to be a lot, a lot faster pace in terms of um, uh, upgrades and stuff like that when you guys follow this vlog. Um, because I already have everything you know I need to outfit this thing and and, uh, and whatnot but hopefully you guys can see tomorrow or when I you know first do uh, I'm gonna shoot this tomorrow as is for Kalen's wind course 
um, that he has, and I'm going to shoot at 100 yards. Um, I'll tell you what factory ammo that I'm shooting with it. But uh, yeah, so this is, I guess, this is um, part one of uh, the, the vlog for the Tika budget build. And again, it's not going to just be um, a, a journey. I think, you know, as this vlog builds and, you know, four or five years down the line, someone that's looking to get into long range shooting, um, you know, he'll have this series to follow along to see the progression of this rifle build um, and what kind of money was spent into it. Um, so yeah, this is the Tika CTR um, 6.5 Creedmoor with the 20-inch uh, barrel threaded muzzle brake. We've got a Night Force SHV um, 4 to 14 on her first focal plane in uh, mil radians. Uh, I'm not sure what kind of ring. I think these are Night Force rings and stock trigger. I still got the I still got the tape on it. All right. So okay. Hopefully you guys enjoy this journey. Uh, looking forward to uh, providing this. Uh, this information uh, for you guys about the uh, Tika CTR. So here's some B-roll clips for uh, that action, or for that right for this rifle. All teams, all teams, this is the Assault Force Commander. White side breach is set, white side breach is set. I have control, I have control, I have control. Stand by. Five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> 